Good morning, class. My name is Daniel Giraldo, and today I'm going to be talking about this great book I'm holding in my hand. It's um, The Top 10 Mistakes Leaders Make. This book was written by David Cook, and there's a lot of great things in this book. There's 10 chapters, actually. Um, I'm not going to be talking about all 10 chapters because it will take us all day, but I went over and kind of picked the top three that I knew that was going to be beneficial for me as well as for you guys. Um, I want to start with the first one, uh, putting paperwork before people. Um, David Cook talked about this one, and he say how people are opportunities and not interruptions. And it makes me realize how important the employees in our company, they have an impact in our, in our life and in the company. If we know the culture of the company, if we know what we're there for, we know that we're going to bring value to it. As paperwork, we all always gonna have paperwork. And something that he mentioned that is really nice is how he thinks that the internet, mails, and other people around you, those actually start distraction. They actually bring you um, more distraction to your life and to the company. So keeping those on the side and separating them it actually helps. Um, so remember that people are actually there to help you, to bring value to the company, and we should actually pay attention to them. If we have a company of 100 employees, we want to make sure, it's going to be hard maybe to get to know all 100 employees, but some companies are a little smaller, maybe they're like 20, 25, and it's better to, to get to know them. It kind of reminds me of every job at the book, uh, um, Is Your Chief, how he got to know each one of them and the chief. He did the line, he kind of meet with them individually, and kind of find their strength to kind of put them in the right position. I really like that. Um, the second one I want to mention is uh, no room for mavericks. What he means by this is that a lot of the companies, a lot of the CEOs, they they don't really like newbies. They don't really like new people coming to the company because they, they don't want to deal with it. They don't have the experience. The company already knows what they're doing. They don't want other people to tell them what to do. That they're, they haven't been there long enough. But as we know, in five, 10 years, something that David talked about is uh, how some of them are not gonna be there. The CEO, some of the board directors, eventually the company stays there, but people, they retired, they move from different companies. So having actually new people, new pioneers, that actually help bring a new perspective into the company, they, it helps to have a different point of view. And that's something that I really enjoy reading about because it's true. Like a lot of the companies, it's kind of hard to get into it, but if we actually put the effort as, as we get into the company, it will actually help, help them. Um, and last and not least is um, dirty delegation. And this is really important. Um, a lot of, of the CEOs, a lot of the leaders, um, they sometimes, it's hard for them. It's, David Cook talks about it's hard for them to delegate something important to someone else because they sometimes they want to take the credit and it's hard for them to be willing enough to to give something that important um, sometimes they don't want to mess up it's an important deal it's an important meeting and they're afraid they, they have fear that they're not up to the task but as a leader as a great leader we want to make sure that we trust our, our our employees that we give them enough credit and uh, how in the book good to great talks about like look at yourself in the mirror and you know when it's time to take the blame just take it and also look outside the window to give credit you want to see those employees that are working hard into your company and give them enough credit that they're valued to the company and these are little things um, that David Cook mentioned but they actually are super helpful for any company or for any leader out there that's gonna be a, that wants to be a great leader. And I encourage you guys to continue to read this book. It's only 10 chapters, it's not the long, it's only 220 something pages. Um, it's, it's, it's worth it. It's something that, you, like it reminds me reading all the books that we went through class, all seven of them, it's kind of like a compressed into this small book. Um, so I encourage you guys to read it. Great book. Thank you.